Coverage of these whipping winds. If you were outside today, you had to really hang out to your hat if you could. At this hour, Eversource is reporting nearly 19,000 customers without service. Those outages are spread out all over our state. Channel 3 New London Bureau Chief is live. Uh, Kevin Hogan is live in Clinton now with how people are dealing with the power problems. Kevin. Well, the good news, Dennis, the utility crews are right here on Glenwood Road. The tree is removed. They say this will take just a short while from now. The road is partially reopened, but the bad news, the power is still out. That's not good news for one restaurateur who's working by candlelight and propane gas. A giant pine tree couldn't stand up to the strong, heavy winds today. It dropped onto the power lines across Glenwood Road in Clinton. Bella Maria Pizzeria owner Ariana says it was 1 o'clock when the lights went out. He lit the candles and waited, cooking for his customers with propane. You have to work by candlelight. Can't do it after this maybe close. How you just pay this? My oldest the dough, my stuff, all cool. Strong wind gusts reaching more than 50 miles per hour toppled trees onto roads and branches onto wires. This was a scene in Enfield. Maneuvering around these sudden roadblocks and diversions, the Connecticut Motor Club AAA says drivers and homeowners have to use extreme caution. And if there is property damage, call your insurance. Doesn't matter where the tree comes from, if it hits your property, it's your insurance company. If it hits your neighbor's property and the tree came from your yard, it is their insurance company that's going to cover. Again, still a lot of outages here in Clinton. Glenwood Road is partially open. This is going to be open here, and the power is going to come back on in, within the next hour or so. Live the Mobile News in Clinton, Kevin Hogan, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. Okay, Kevin, thank you. Avon Mountain on the left.